Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, join me. I'm actually back in a place that I visited over a year ago, and it's a place called Araglin and Ballard Waterfall. And I'm here today because we're right at the start of the autumn season, and I wanted to see was there going to be any additional colors to add to the photograph that I've taken in the past. I also wanted to see if I could get a couple of different compositions. However, as I was walking in here, my heart sank because the place is part of a rejuvenated forest as part of Quilcha in Ireland where they plant trees and then they cut down the trees and then they plant more trees but since I've been here now devastation because the whole area that I would have walked through and photographed on my last visit here is now completely gone so I said you know what I'm gonna go to the waterfall hopefully the trees are still around the waterfall and thankfully they are so it's something I think that you know you should bear in mind always take the opportunity while you can because you never know when it's going to be gone and this is an example where now everything is gone so yeah let's see how i get on here now today and see if i can find some improvements in my composition and let's see what type of photographs i can get so the first photograph now that i've taken here is very similar to the image i had taken the last time i was here except I actually went into the water behind me, which I probably will still do. But as I was looking here, there's a lot more flow in the water this time. So it's actually quite interesting because I'm getting a lot more water, which is filling the frame. I've come down low with the tripod. I'm using the rocks that are here as well to kind of create a, another frame within the image. And as least at the right hand side as possible, because that's a bit of a void area in the image itself. Settings at the moment, I'm aiming to get my half a second exposure, which is my preferred time for water movement. So at half a second exposure, I'm at F11 and I've got my ISO at 125. And I've also put on my polarizer here just to take the sheen off the water that's here in front of me. I think it's a nice shot for my first one anyway. Um, I'll show it to you now in a moment. And then I'm going to try and go back here, see if I can get a similar shot to what I've got in the past, but obviously with more water flowing than there is today.
I've enjoyed playing around here now actually. It's been quite interesting, very similar obviously to when I was here before, not much difference in the colour. But I do think that I've managed to fine tune a couple of compositions by getting down close to the water. Now I couldn't record really really well there because the noise as you can probably hear from the waterfall here is quite loud and I was right next to a smaller cascade as well down below there. The idea behind that image is to really get into the flow of the water. So I was around about maybe a foot away from where the water was flowing in. I had two cascades, one large one, one small one, and then the waterfall positioned in the back. But I do think that that shot anyway will be nice. And then I walked around these rocks here to get a couple of different compositions, uh, which I do think would be quite nice. And then behind me over here, is a small area that I was able to get down close to the water but it has a long flat area of the water as it comes off the waterfall and I think that also will be a nice photograph. It's starting to rain now as well so um, I'm probably going to move away from here and go back upon myself and what I'll do is I'll give you a look at the area that I would have photographed in the past and I'll show you the devastation that I was talking about uh, at the beginning of this episode. One other very quick thing actually is something that you should always have with you in your bag and it's this. So this small little thing right now is actually my rain jacket. It folds up into itself, into its pocket. And then it's very simple, matter of taking it out. And now I have a fully fledged rain jacket, which is gonna protect me from the rain. Behind me now you can see devastation on both sides. On the left hand side here there's a small bit of a curve in the river and that's where I would have gotten the first shot that I was here the last time when I visited and it was a lovely curve with some rocks and some water flowing over it. I'll actually show you that image now. And it's such a shame now that everything is gone, you know, I mean like I said from the outset, get things, photograph things before they're gone because you never know when things are going to change. I'm happy that I got those shots, they're one of my favourite shots that I've gotten, but it's going to be a long time now before anybody can get anything similar to a shot like that in this location anyway. So I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very, very much as always for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, it's long before.